Hiya. My name's Jordan Moffat. I'm from Trading Standards. Alright, eh. Uh, You're Charlie? Yes, I'm Charlie. Nice to meet you. Hi Charlie. Well, before I come in I had a wee look online and I noticed that you're not in the Scottish Government Tobacco Register yet. Is that correct? Aye, that's right. I'm not yet. I just haven't really got a chance to get around to it yet. Because you hear that quite a lot, eh? Yeah, we do. But it is an offence to sell these products when not registered. It's actually really simple to register. It doesn't take much time at all. And also, have you got your written age verification policy in place? No, but I've got a Challenge 25 policy for alcohol. Surely that covers it. I'm afraid not. You must have a separate written age verification policy that relates to tobacco and NVP. It's an offence not to have it. Don't worry though, that's why we do these visits. We need to inform you that any salesperson under the age of 18 must be authorised to sell these products. Have you got any staff under 18? Yeah, I do actually. Okay, well it's an offence against the retailer if staff under 18 are not authorised to sell them. In terms of best practice, you've got a refusals book in place, right? Yeah, 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 I do, I've got one right great. here actually. Great. Second. That one, yeah. Oh, that's one. great. Well, you must ensure that your staff are trained in underage sales and how to refuse a sale and record the refusal. Trading standards can offer assistance with this. I'll give you this wee booklet and we can talk you through everything you need. There you go. Right, great. Well, I really appreciate it. Thanks for all your help. Right, everyone, time up. Listen up, listen up. First, thanks all for coming in today. Jamie, welcome aboard to the team. You settling in well? Aye, great, thanks. Everyone's really nice. They've uh, helped me out a lot. Good stuff. Well, I've been hearing good things about you. Anyway, let's get to the real work now. As you all know, we're going to be selling a new product in store as of today. All right. We've had a lot of customers asking about e-cigarettes and e-liquid. So, here we go. So it's an online company that we're going to be dealing with. Obviously I'm new to all this, so I'll just be learning as much as you guys. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm not sure we should be putting this on sale. <laughs> Why not? Well, in the last job that I worked in, trading standards came out to enforce an action against the company for continually selling items like this. Let me show you. Right, this liquid here is 60 milliliters, and the largest volume allowed is 10 milliliters. And as far as strength is concerned, the maximum allowed is 20 milligrams, but this one is 30 milligrams. And it does not have a health warning. And it does not have a shell resistant cap either. So, so what should I do then? Just send them all back? If I was you, I wouldn't put it on sale. Alright, okay. Good work, Jamie. I'll get in touch with Trading Standards and have a chat. Right, thanks for coming in. Right, there's one. Get that one. Can you not get it for me? No, you've got enough money to buy cigarettes, you've got enough money to buy that for yourself. Uh, can I please get one of the kits? Have you got any idea on you? We operate an age verification policy here, so we don't sell to anyone under the age of 25 unless you can show us proof of age. Have you got a passport? No. I, I, I can't sell it to her without proof of age. These e-cigarettes contain nicotine as well. Look, I've caught her buying cigarettes. I'd rather she had one of these than smoked again. I'm really sorry, but I can't sell her without proof of age. Right, I'll buy it. Again, I'm sorry, but I can't sell it to you if I believe you're buying it for someone else. It's illegal to buy it for someone under the age of 18. I would make it a proxy sale. So what am I supposed to do now? Uh, well, does your daughter at school have one of those smoking cessation officers? Do you? Yeah. Well, I'd recommend making an appointment with them. They'll be able to support you. They'll help you quit with nicotine replacement therapy. I'm sure they'll help. Okay, thank you. Come on. What's happened exactly? Holy girl. She went to five. She swore me e-liquid about half an hour ago. She just took a bad turn. Okay, okay. Well just try and relax, okay? Do you have the liquid there? Yeah. Smash it. Yeah. Okay, well, 
What we're going to do is we're going to do a few checks on your daughter. I'm going to phone the hospital ahead so that they can check the toxins because there are toxins in this liquid, okay? Okay, if I put this on your finger. Now, how are you feeling? Are you feeling sick? Have you got any pain anywhere? Your head. You keep this arm nice and straight for me. There we go. That's great. 